The Odd Pod. The Odd Pod. And in the news today, a museum dedicated to stomach-churning food has added equally off-putting alcoholic drinks to its displays, including wine fermented in a prison toilet. The disgusting food museum in Malmo in Sweden said it wanted people to examine their relationship with booze by seeing the extreme lengths others will go to whilst craving a mind-altering brew. There's a spit-fermented cornmeal beer from Peru, a Ugandan gin made from fermented bananas, and an ancient Korean beverage fermented from children's faeces and rice, which was thought to be medicinal in the past. There's also a strong Scottish brew served from the mouth of a taxidermied squirrel and an Icelandic beer made with a whale testicle smoked in sheep's dung. Museum director Andreas Ahrens said people can be very desperate to get drunk. He added, so whenever we find ourselves in a situation where there's no alcohol, we get quite inventive, and we've been doing this for millennia. While many of the drinks on display are commonly consumed somewhere in the world, they may be considered challenging by outsiders. They include bitters such as Gamel Dansk, which is drunk in Denmark, and Fenet Branca, an Italian Amoro. So much of what we drink is an acquired taste, Mr Ahrens said. Few items at the museum, which opened two years ago, include bull's testicles, maggot-infested cheese, frog smoothies from Peru, and a wine made of baby mice that is consumed in China. One display tells the story of what happened in the Soviet Union when the government closed alcohol stores to reduce drunkenness. Many people died after drinking perfume and varnish. Pondering strange drinking habits when alcohol is scarce, Mr Arlen said, some of these things are so normal in some societies, should it really be that normal? Why don't we listen to our brains and go, hey, if this tastes this way, maybe we shouldn't drink it? Wise words indeed. And in other news, a man has blown up part of his house in France whilst trying to swat a fly. The man in his 80s was eating his dinner on Friday evening when he heard a fly buzzing around him. He picked up an electric racket designed to kill the bugs and began swatting at it. However, he was unaware of a gas canister leaking in his home in the village of Parcoul Chenot in Dordogne. A reaction happened between the swat and the gas, causing an explosion that blew up part of his kitchen. The blast also damaged a section of his roof and the house house is currently uninhabitable. According to local media, the unnamed man had a lucky escape, sustaining just a burn to the hand. His family are repairing the house while he lives in a local campsite. The Odd Pod. Odd Pod.